Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over how to find the distance between two numbers. Distance is a very important concept, and what better way to introduce it than with finding the distance between two numbers. So here we have the real number line. We've got our negative integers, we've got zero, and some positive integers. Of course, it goes on infinitely in the negative and the positive directions. And again, this is the real number line, so it includes rational numbers like one half, and it includes irrational numbers like pi. All the real numbers are here. So let's say we pick two numbers on this real number line. Suppose we pick two and five right over here, and we're trying to find the distance between two and five. So what's the distance between two and five? Well, we can see it quite easily by looking at this number line we see that two and five are one, two, three units apart. So the distance between two and five is three. But we don't want to have to count units on a number line every time we want to find the distance between two numbers. So what we want is some mathematical operation that we can use to find the distance between two numbers. And at first, it might seem that subtraction is promising. Because, for example, five minus two is three. And as we saw here, three is the distance between two and five. But there is a slight problem if we were to try to use subtraction to find distance. The distance between 5 and 2 is the same as the distance between 2 and 5. They are 3 apart. So whatever mathematical operation we use to find the distance between two numbers, the order that we put the numbers in shouldn't change the distance. But with subtraction, we see that the order does change the result. 5 minus 2 is positive 3, but 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So subtraction by itself can't be the operation that we use to find distance. Because again, distance doesn't depend on the order of the numbers. The distance from 2 to 5 is the same as the distance from 5 to 2. With distance, we have no interest in negative numbers. We just want to know how far apart the numbers are. We don't care if it's in the negative direction or in the positive direction, which means we just want a nice, simple, positive number to be the distance. So how can we fix this problem? Well, it's pretty easy with a nifty thing called absolute value. And perhaps you've seen this. These are absolute value bars. And here's how they work. If the quantity in the absolute value bars is positive, then the absolute value bars don't change anything. So the absolute value of five minus two is still three. And it works the same way for zero. Remember that zero is neither positive nor negative. The absolute value of zero is equal to zero. However, if the quantity in the absolute value bars is negative, the absolute value bars turn it into a positive. So the absolute value of two minus five is equal to positive three, not negative three. So this is the key. The absolute value bars solve our problem. So to find the distance between two numbers, all we have to do is subtract them, and it doesn't matter what order we subtract them in, and take the absolute value of that subtraction. So to find the distance between two and five, we take the absolute value of five minus two or the absolute value of two minus five, which is three. If we wanted to find the distance between negative four and positive one, we just take the absolute value of negative four minus one, negative four minus one is negative five, so the absolute value of that is positive five. And we can see that that is true looking on the number line, one, two, three, four, five. Indeed, the distance from negative four to positive one is five. So you can see the absolute value is pretty useful. It's a very nifty thing. So remember, the absolute value of a positive quantity is a positive quantity, like the absolute value of positive two is equal to positive two. The absolute value of zero is equal to zero. The absolute value of a negative number is also a positive number, like the absolute value of negative three is equal to positive three. And sorry for this squiggly negative, let me rewrite that, negative. So if you want to find the distance between two numbers, all you have to do is take the absolute value of their difference. Remember that difference refers to subtraction, and it doesn't matter what order we subtract the numbers in because we're taking the absolute value. So subtract the numbers in whatever order you please, take the absolute value, that is your distance. Here's a quick practice problem for you before you go. Let me know what you get down in the comments. What's the distance between negative three and positive three? 
Alright everyone, that's it for today. I hope this video helped you understand how to find the distance between two numbers. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons Damaged on the internet. Down from aeroplanes into sleepy towns Drivers seats and hospital beds Housing the same humans Force fed in the sterile kitchen Split pea soup and butter